Man, I don't know what you're so pissed about. Somebody up there's got a temper. Huh? Bit of a temper. Try stabilizing your blood sugar a bit. Oh, he didn't like that. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm gonna to try to survive as I film this video because uh, this is like a wind-torn territory right now. We just got wind everywhere. You know, not like the gassy type wind from whey protein, but from, but the actual nature wind. Lots of nature wind. See, I'm stepping on stuff. There's like stuff everywhere on the ground. You see this? See, we got good stuff everywhere. Look at this. Everything in the trail, everything's blown over. There's nothing but devastation everywhere. It's like, it's almost like the trees are blown away by my wisdom. Anyway, dumb jokes aside, I am, see branches are falling down too. I might not survive this video, but I'm, I'm thinking I will. I think, I think, if I hear a crack and I run and the camera doesn't make it, well, you know what happened. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about a few ways that you can get in quick See, that's the other thing. I can't tell whether it's a troll in the woods or if it's just the wind blowing the trees. There may be some danger that I didn't predict here, but, uh, but whatever, I'll get this video done, don't worry. So today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about are there ways of getting in quick and effective workouts because some people don't have time or sometimes, you know, you just don't feel like doing a marathon in the gym. You know, it's just like, wow, I've been in the gym for an hour and a half every day of the week. Like at some point you're like, ah, oh, screw it. I wanna get in a quick workout. I want to do something effective. I want to stimulate my body, but I don't want to, you know, make this like an energetic drain, meaning that you're just bored to death of just being in the drudgery of the gym all the time. Maybe you've got other things to do. So in this way, it's good to mix up your workouts because there are effective ways to stimulate certain muscle fibers and you could do this in a very quick way. So here are a few techniques in order to do this. The first way obviously is to do your workouts in the form of a circuit where you're not taking much rest in between sets. And yes, your breath might play a role. You might get a little bit out of breath here and there, but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be stimulating some of the slow twitch fibers or strength endurance fibers, right? So once you do chest, you move on to shoulders, or maybe you move on to back, then you move on to shoulders, then you move on to biceps, then triceps, and then you may go do legs. Now you might do legs separately, or you might say, okay, I'm gonna do an easy leg exercise, like, like lunges or something. And you take enough rest in between each body part that your breath returns to normal a bit, right? So say you're doing legs, you might need an extra bit of rest because legs take a lot more cardio. But when it comes down to doing your chest, doing your back and your arms, you might not notice that you get out of breath as much, so you don't need as much rest. And therefore, because you need a little bit less rest than you would need if you were doing straight sets, you can save a bit of time. So now your workout that might take an hour and 15 minutes or an hour long might only take you 20 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever, right? So that's one way you can do it. Now, another way that you can I got my shoes dirty, shit. Hey guys, what's this? I'm blown away by my wisdom. Now another way that you can actually save some time is to do supersets, which means you do your opposing body parts. Like you do your chest exercise, and as soon as you do one set of that, you go immediately into back exercise, and then you come back to chest, go back to back, come to chest, Go to chest, back, back and forth, right? Now you might take 30 seconds rest here and there to make sure your breath returns to normal, but that's still gonna be less than needing to take the minute and a half or two minutes rest to get the same recovery in a certain given body part. So this is a way that you can, uh, you can get a good pump uh, from antagonistic body parts, such as bicep and tricep, or front delt, rear delt, or from quadricep and, and, and hamstring, or from chest and back, right? This is a great way you can get a good pump there, but at the same time, you're also gonna benefit from saving a bit of time. Now, there are other benefits to doing supersets and giant sets. I've talked about that in other videos. Uh, one of them being that the antagonistic muscle actually works as a stabilizer for the other muscle when it has a pump. So sometimes you'll, you'll notice that, say, after training triceps, you might notice that you can recruit the biceps even more effectively because your triceps have a pump and they actually help stabilize that 
arm in the shoulder socket somehow, right? Because the tricep does cross the shoulder joint. So I noticed, especially because I have a dislocating shoulder, I noticed that this phenomenon does happen quite strongly, especially for myself, because my labrum or my shoulder joint's not necessarily doing the job, so I need the muscles to do the job for me. So by training triceps first, sometimes I notice that I can recruit my biceps even more effectively and get a better pump and better muscle contraction. <sighs> if it wasn't so wet, I'd sit somewhere. Now the last way I'm gonna say that you can save some time is to do super, obviously, super short rest in between sets. Now I know I've talked about this quite a bit. I've talked about if you do too short a rest in between sets, that it's counterproductive when it comes down to building muscle mass. Now, it's not necessarily counterproductive in certain circumstances, it's just counterproductive if you do it all the time and that's the only way you train. Because you're definitely not going to be getting the fast switch fibers as effectively or recruiting the nervous system the same way if you're doing sets that are back to back, like you're only doing 20 seconds, 30 seconds rest in between sets. But the one thing I wanna bring up is that it is a valid technique to hit certain muscle fibers. And the great part about it is that you can get a workout in done in like three or four minutes, you can get a body part done, right? That fast, I mean, three, four, five minutes, you can get five sets in because, because you're not resting, your fatigue is just going through the roof by the time you get to the second, third, fourth set. So because of this, you can get an awesome pump really quick and then get out the door. So today before I came to film here, I just did some inclines in my garage of super lightweight. I just did four back-to-back -back sets or three, I think I only did three back-to-back -back sets. And I got such an intense burn and the pump in my upper chest lasted for, well, it's actually still here and it was about two hours ago that I actually did this. So the funny thing is, is that if you apply techniques in the right place, you definitely will hit certain muscle fibers and get benefit from it, great benefit in a lot of cases. So. Although I don't advocate to do it all the time because you are in endurance fiber territory and you want to hit all the muscle fibers in order to get overall growth, it doesn't mean that that's not an effective way to hit the muscles from time to time. A branch just fell down there. Maybe I shouldn't be filming in the forest. Oh, and on that note, look what I just, look what I just about walked under, look at this. This thing is toppling over, and look at where it is. It's toppling over, look at that. Look at that. Crazy, right? Yep. That looks like it's about to go. Any minute now, I think. Shit. Let's go look at the baser. Yeah, just pulled right out of the ground here. Still kind of stable, but not sure it's uh Hey buddy boy, you gonna be okay? Hey? Hmm. That might get in the way of the trail, I think. 30 seconds. So I basically did four sets, but only rested about 20 to 30 seconds in between sets. Now I hit a massive pump from that, massive fatigue. And although a pump isn't always an indicator of muscle growth, in this case with the muscle endurance fibers, it really does help. And I noticed I kept the pump for about two hours after, which is quite amazing. So this can be an amazing way to save a bit of time, but at the same time, get that, that momentum going, or at least keep the groove, keep the muscle momentum going when you don't have time to do those big hour and a half workouts or the big heavy workouts, right? So don't feel obligated to keep the big heavy workouts all the time, because sometimes these light workouts help you maintain and also push into growth in other areas. So it's not always about heavy, heavy, heavy. Sometimes having these blood pump workouts, these workouts that are focused on pumping blood and getting the whole system just stimulated can have an overall synergistic effect in, in, in your muscle growth, right? So this is why I think it's a good thing for you to go into these types of workouts from time to time and then back into your strength workouts. And you'll notice that you'll actually gain more strength from it in the long run because once you get back into the heavyweight, you're stimulating other muscle fibers, right? So now you're gonna experience a synergy super amounts of, of pump to, and blood flow, along with hitting the endurance fibers. And then of course, you're gonna be hitting the fast switch fibers and nervous system stuff from the heavier weight. So yeah, these are a few ways that you can access some extra time and basically get workouts in when you are crunched for time and actually get some extra benefits because of it, right? So yeah, don't feel limited. But again, you don't wanna use these principles all the time because you do need to go into those strength workouts from time to time too as a natural bodybuilder. So yeah, I hope this helps out in your training. I hope you weren't blown away blown totally away by my wisdom.
right? We don't want you to blow you away by my wisdom because I've got a lot of wisdom here. And thanks a lot to, uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturallandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Mountain and wind. Mountain and wind. Lots of wind. Lots of wind coming from the mountain. Mountain! 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 I don't know what somebody's angry about up there, but boy, somebody's really pissed.